Okay, sorry about that. The cam cut off on me there. The website. Okay, um, I was saying before about uh, if you log into your mainstream account because you own the website, um, you want like to hear, see? Hang on, let me just click this so I can see what I'm doing. There. So, like, you click down in here. Right, so if you log in your own account, you got edit, delete, manage, you can manage stuff. So if you click manage, it'll bring up another window. And you can like add files and folders from the website. You don't have to be on your your computer to mess with this. You can add stuff and delete stuff and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. And then you can delete, you can delete this, or you can edit this whole thing. Click edit and then you can change, you can set the the title, or, or sorry, where it is located, the title, description of it, um, this is like upload size, so like, I'm going to see it right there, it says this quota, zero is default, like unloaded, sorry, then you got your guests, you can download, upload, meaning like you can only view it or you can upload files to the folder, then you got users that can download, upload, and save this. And then you got this one here where you can set a name, a name here, whatever you want name, to uh, be able to specific users that only certain users can see and stuff. And if I show you over here on my laptop, hang on, let me put my laptop here. Okay, over here, this is my normal account that I'm signed in with. As you can see under the same folder, there's no edit, delete, or anything. So this is just a, a power user, but it's not an administrator, administrator user. You can set um, guest levels. You can set what they can and can't do. You can set user levels, what they can and can't do. And you can set uh, administrator levels, what they can and cannot do or see. So, and then you got... Uh, um, oh, what was it saying? Sorry, power users, not ministry users. Power users, which they can do whatever you can set it. But if you set, but if you go into like, if you go into the program here, say, and if you click on my name, not that one. Hang on, this one. This is right here. Remote administrator. That's where you get to edit, delete, and do whatever you want to the whole site. And then there's your, there's your um, power users, guests user accounts right there you can set up to whatever you want to be that's basically the whole site oh there's something else I was going to show you but I don't remember where it is there's one file, one box right here uh, enable files to be downloaded without login now the safest spot would be to do is to uncheck that so someone has to have an account on your site before they can upload or download a file. If you don't check that then they'll be able to go on your site anywhere and download the file without logging in even though you have guests, you have a guest login enabled. That's basically all I have to show right now. Um, it's got the server logs, who logs in, users online, security, you can filter IP addresses and stuff. That's basically it. That's basically the whole program right there. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you hear hear everything perfectly for fine. If not, I can make a new one. Um, have a good day, I guess. Thanks for listening. See ya.